Pray for Nigeria. Hmm. Outside his certificate forgery, Peter B left Nigerians in shock. Reviews dirty secrets about Tinubu. Welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you for always coming out here. If you are just joining us, please kindly subscribe to this channel and don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Peter will be the Labour Party's presidential candidate, has described the current administration as insensitive to the plight of Nigerians and indifference to the nation's need. Obi argued that the government has failed to address the suffering of the majority of Nigerians and has not responded to the nation's mood. He called for a more caring and responsive government. Peter Obi noted that the government recently passed supplementary budget did not include the measures to address urgent social welfare issues. He argued that this reflects the government's lack of concern for the welfare of its citizens. He called for a more robust social welfare policy that addresses the needs of the people. Peter B's statement, which was released on Wednesday, was in response to the 2.17 trillion supplementary budget for 2023, which President Tinubu signed into law. Obi stated that the budget did not include crucial social welfare measures, and he called for the government to prioritize the needs of the people. He believes that the budget should reflect the priorities of the government and the needs of the citizens. The former Nambra state governor explained that the supplementary budget focused on luxury items like the presidential yurts, jets, and cars rather than addressing the people's need. He also said that the purpose of a supplementary budget is to allocate funds to unmet needs of the people and that the government has misused this opportunity. He stated that the supplementary budget should have addressed urgent welfare needs, rather than focusing on luxury items. The former governor acknowledged that the new administration need many needs may not have been considered in the original budget, but they ascertained that the supplementary budget should have address urgent national welfare issues. He pointed out that the supplementary budget did not prioritize the most pressing needs and emergencies facing the country. He emphasized that this was a, miss, a missed opportunity to address the country's needs. The UN and World Food Program have warned that up to six 6.5 million Nigerians will face food insecurity next year. This situation is expected to be most severe in uh, Sokoto, Adamawa, Burunu, Yobe, and Zamfara states. A compassionate government would have included provisions in the supplementary budget to address this pending humanitarian crisis. However, this was not included in the proposed budget. The statement criticized the government for allocating resources in the supplementary budget to luxury items rather than addressing the urgent social welfare needs of the people. The statement also expressed concern about the lack of transparency around the budget process. Finally, the statement emphasized the need for the government to address the humanitarian a crisis facing many Nigerians. See, he just a pity. The Nigerians, majority of Nigerians, you know, have um, failed to understand what is going on right now. They are just concerned about where they are coming from. Supporting this person because it's my person. It's my, tri uh, my, my tribesman. That is the reason why I should support you. We are of the same fate. They are not even 
talking about Nigerians' welfare. A government that kills should have put in all these things to be pointed out, you know, into consideration. I am telling you, Nigerians too, the same Nigerians who are who are going through a lot now, is still insulting Peter B for pointing these things out. I bet go sit down. If you still there, you will chop your own. What is wrong with us? See, Peter B had been denied the presidency. He has nothing to lose. He must be, in fact, he can feel this family 247. No matter how the situation in Nigeria we go to, Peter B is not bothered. You understand? Because his family will be, will be able to feel it. These people who are sorting Obi for saying, see, this is not how to go about this. This is not about to go about this is not how to go about this. They're already crying of hunger. Nigerians, we have to wake up. You are talking about buying luxury cars and all that. When we have urgent needs at, at hand, Nigerians are going through a lot because of this first subsidy remover. They said they are going to give federal workers 35,000 naira for six months of federal workers. State day day. Okay, apart from state and federal workers, I believe do, these people are not the only people who are Nigerians. Are they trying to tell us that those people who do not work with the government are now less Nigerians? So is the first subsidy removal not affecting them? These people, they don't know what they are doing. Giving out this money is just still a way for them to defraud Nigerians the more. You know what to do. So that we put everything set and whether you are working or you are not, you are not working, everybody will enjoy that as a Nigerian. But no, they won't do that. Lawmakers, lawmakers, they are just there for fortifying themselves. Talking about buying a, a, a SUV car worth 160 million because of bad road. That was the example. That was the, in fact the 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 excuse they gave. Bad road. Who are to repair those road? In their consequences. Don't they give them projects to do? Even if the federal government not do, in their consequences, they don't have what to project in that Senate, in that house, so that things will work out well. Make we continue. Make we just continue. As things they go bad like this, people do not want to know, but they are just busy. Ah, this person is from my place. This, 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 and this, and that. And for that, this, this. We are here. So, guys, let's hear from you. What's your take on this? Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you.